What's going on? This is Kevin Hamrick here. I'm a full-time student at Full Sail University, and I'm currently enrolled in the Game Design Degree Program. Uh, the class I'm currently taking is Technology in the Entertainment and Media Industries, uh, which we call TEM for short. And this video is actually going to be a reflection on what I've learned in that class. I'm going to answer four essential questions. Um, so let's get right into it. The very first question is, what exactly did I learn about my industry, the gaming industry? Uh, well, I can tell you that all, when I was going into this class, a lot of my knowledge was based on about 15 years ago. Uh, so when I was growing up, uh, the big name guys in the PC gaming industry, at any rate, was uh, Richard Carey and guys like uh, John Romero. So these guys sort of started off when the industry was really young, and they sort of built a foundation. Uh, so what I really learned was that from that foundation, the industry has grown quite a bit. Uh, you know, not just in terms of technology. Of course, I knew the technology had grown because, you know, I'm a current PC gamer. I know the difference between, you know, games like Ultima 1 and The Witcher 3. Technology difference is huge, huge in these games. Uh, however, what I didn't know was how much the industry itself had grown to be so large. I mean, it's really almost akin to the film industry. Uh, it was quite amazing. And one of my biggest takeaways from the class is the sort of support structure that it's in place for people getting into the industry. Uh, I mean, it's huge. There's plenty of support out there for new designers uh, to learn from experienced designers. There are, you know, companies that are been around for a while now that you can get a job at, intern at, and learn a lot of experience and stuff like that. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised to see how big the industry had gotten, uh, and even more surprised to see how much support was out there uh, for for new people as well as people who've been in the industry for a while. So that's question number one. So Question number two I want to ask myself is, what did I learn about my own future in the industry? Well, with such a huge support structure and with technology being where it is now, uh, I'm actually really looking forward to my future in the industry. Uh, you know, it's a pretty bright future. You know, with VR is becoming a thing. It's actually becoming an accessible technology. That's pretty exciting. Uh, mostly what I learned, though, about my future is my future is not going alone. Uh, you know, like I said, I have a group of guys like Richard Garriott who basically... You know, he worked in his garage, taught himself how to code and things like that. I uh, didn't have the support structure. So for me, uh, my future is, you know, going to be a little bit more smooth sailing. I don't have to teach myself as much. Uh, you know, I'll have people that can help me out. I'll have a network uh, that can help me out. And while it's good to do things on the side on my own, um, you know, I don't have to. And that, that's what's really great. And that's you know, kind of what I'm looking forward to most in my future is, is being able to work with a solid team and making some great games. Uh, so going into number question number three. Uh, question number three kind of goes off of question number two. Going forward, going forward how I'm going to apply the skills that I learned in this class. Uh, well, the biggest skill I learned in this class actually is networking. I'm not a big social media guy. Uh, part of this class, the only thing I had was a private Facebook account. So I keep it pretty private uh, as far as the settings go. So I really only see my friends on Facebook. So I had to kind of learn how to do some social media networking, uh, and I'm, I'm still in the baby steps and stuff like that, uh, but it's a really important skill. I'm learning how to use LinkedIn. Uh, first time ever I've got Twitter. I've now got a professional Facebook account. I've actually interacted with uh, some of the people I looked up to as a kid through Twitter, which is an exciting thing. Uh, so going forward, I definitely think that uh, the skills that I learned about uh, social networking and just the concept of social networking is going to be really big uh, in helping me reach the place I want to be in my career. All right, and last question for this reflection is if I could give upcoming TM classes uh, some advice, what would I give to those students? Uh, well, that's a pretty simple one. Uh, and there's, there's two things I actually want to hit on. The first one is don't underestimate how much time it takes uh, to finish your work. So during the second week, you know, I had two assignments that were that were due. The preferred due date was Friday. Uh, something came up in the week. Friday came along. So while I had time Friday morning, I would say, well, you know, I'll, I'll start in the evening. And I started around 6 o'clock. I thought I'd be able to knock them both out in no time. Uh, truth is, I got the second one in five minutes before midnight. And I almost lost an easy five points. So do not, do not underestimate the amount of time it, it takes you to do your assignments. You know, if you got some downtime, use it, work on your assignments. So that's a really, really big one. Make sure you do that. Uh, the second thing I want to uh, tell future students is basically 
go to this class with an open mind. You might think you know a lot about your industry or you might know a lot about your classmates' industries and stuff like that. But you can always, always learn something. So make sure you go with an open mind. You get the most out of the assignments because you, you can hit all the wicker points and get and get 100 points on every assignment if you hit every little every little check mark in the box. Uh, but that's that's you're not going to get anything out of that. Sure, you might get an A, but who cares? What you really want to be able to get out of this class is you know the knowledge that is going to make you successful. All right, and the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you earnestly do the work and try to learn as much as possible with the resources that the class gives you. And that's pretty much it. That's that's my biggest piece of advice. Uh, so this has been my reflection video. Um, you know, to my fellow classmates who went through the class with me. It was great working with you guys. Hope I see you in future classes. And to all future TEM students, you know, I wish you the best of luck. See you guys later.